Hello, my name is Mooncat and welcome to day two, or well, the end of day one of the Polynesia settlement. As I mentioned in my previous video, I will end day one in this video, and then I will continue with day two as well later on in the video. You can find the timestamps in the description to jump ahead to day two if you want. Uh, but for now, I'm about to do uh, a little bit more on day one, and my plan, uh, I've been thinking a little bit, uh, my plan when I collect these uh, is not to get another expansion, because as you can see, it costs 15 fish. However, for the coconut, I believe it is, the coconut, yeah, it's only five still, and I imagine if I buy one with coconut now for five, the next one will also probably be five, I think, if it works like it did in previous settlements, at least. So I will not do that. Uh, instead, I will use the 10 fish I'm about to get to unlock the palm garden to start producing coconuts, uh, and then... I will be uh, replacing one of these fissures uh, as well as one of the huts with this new coconut building. Uh, I do have a plan which I've made in the Forge of Empire City Builder. I will link it in the description. Uh, it's a really good tool for uh, particularly for settlements uh, and also quantum incursions coming up. Uh, you can use it for your city as well. I've never really uh, found it uh, that helpful for the city, uh, but specifically for settlements, it's a really good tool to use. You just input all of the buildings you want to place. So here I have all the huts, uh, fish, dance, palm, and so on. Uh, you have the size, uh, because we don't need any roads, you need to uncheck the road requirement, then hit solve, and hopefully it will find a good solution uh, for the particular problem. So that's what I'll be using now. Uh, let's start collecting the goods as well. And this one is ready in three minutes. These are ready in two minutes. Uh, but we can already start. Uh, I will put one of these on another five hour production. I do have another five or six hours left of the day. Uh, I will delete this and then hopefully I have enough uh, space to, I think I have enough space to build some totems in order to unlock the next technology. So let's quickly place these. Uh, probably should have checked how many I need. Uh, I need nine actually, I think, 56. So I think that's exactly enough. And there we go. So now we have the next goods building. Uh, let's delete all of these. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I do also need to delete one of these small huts, so let's delete that. Okay, so now let me uh, reconstruct my city. Um, I do have uh, I do have the layout on my second monitor, so uh, it's easier to do. But uh, yeah, you did just see it, so it shouldn't be too hard, I think, to see what I'm doing. So uh, this goods building goes here. Uh, that one goes there. We have a row of huts up on the top here. Uh, there we go. We have the dance there. We have another hut there. And finally, the palm garden right there. There we go. Nice. Uh, the construction time is one hour. When that is done, I will put it on a five hour production as well. Uh, I do have enough time for that. Uh, we do have ooh, another impediment removal. Nice. Let's collect that. We also get the first milestones, 350 goods. Not bad, not bad. And next one is a one-up kit. Hmm, quite nice. Gather 10 coconuts. I will be able to do that tomorrow morning, most likely, uh, unless I am lucky with a 4x boost. That's still a thing. But of course, very early on, uh, the first couple of playthroughs, it's very low. So here it is at 5%. So. I'm going to be lucky if I get that. Um, I think I'll keep doing one hour productions. If I really want to do, I could do faster ones and just continually co uh, collect. But uh, yeah, I don't think I will bother with that. Uh, I do need, so I need another thousand. Uh, yeah, another thousand for the first five hour. And then I need 4,000. Actually, uh, one more thing that I didn't really mention. Um, 
right now, uh, in order to unlock the pile dwelling here, uh, I only need another five or four fish. So when this is done, uh, done producing in five hours, uh, I will buy one more palm garden. Uh, and that way uh, I will be able to run two palm gardens uh, for tomorrow. And ooh, is that the embassy? No, it's not. It's the... <laughs> thought it was the embassy. Um, so yeah. I will be able to yeah put both two palm gardens on production over the night. Just need to figure out where to place it. Uh, I might need to delete a small hut, but I think I'll have enough population. I'll figure all of that out while I wait. So uh, I will be back in uh, five hours to collect this. Uh, I don't need to show me starting this. So in one hour, I will start this and I'll continue to collect from the done stages. So I'll see you later on unless uh, I discover anything in between. So see you later. Alrighty, here we go. The fissure is just about to complete. There we go. I put this on four hours ago. It'll be ready in one hour. Uh, I've also been yeah, collecting mostly every hour from the done stages. Did miss one. Uh, but now I did have a quick look, uh, or I did have a little bit of thinking uh, while doing this. And my plan uh, is right now uh, to get one more palm garden and then in one hour when this is done I will be getting the expansion here. Uh, now someone did comment on my first video, uh, thanks for the help, uh, in the FOE helper. Here we do have the costs of expansions. So uh, the first one here uh, from Bamboo I think it's called. Uh, mm, what's it called? Anyways, uh, the first one uh, will be coconuts, I think, will be available here at 5, then it goes up to 15. So I'll probably go 5 here and then 2 expansions uh, of the next good, which I'm not quite sure what is, and then 2 for from the final one. So I think that's what I'll try. Uh, it might be better to also go for the 15 one, but uh, I'm not sure. So I'm going to stick to 5 for now. Uh, so let's delete this and I do believe I also need to delete one of the small huts. Uh, I do have a plan again that I've made here. So we're going to have two palms, uh, palm buildings over in this corner. So let's do that first I think. Uh, I'm going to need to do a little bit of juggling but hopefully we will be able to do this there we go okay so there's one uh, so i'm gonna have the main building over there like that and then two huts above there then we have these over here like that next one there i think it is there 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 and then we will have one more palm garden over there. So that'll be done in one hour. Uh, it will be ready at the same time as I collect this. When that is ready, I can get this expansion, uh, which will allow me to build uh, one more small hut, I think, plus two more dance stages, um, which I think I'll do uh, because right now uh, I Let's see, I produce 400 every hour. So I have enough for... Um, actually, no, I'll do a five-hour production overnight. So perhaps I'll, instead of getting... Hmm... No, regardless of what I do, I will go to bed when I place it. So uh, I'll have a think, but either another goods building uh, or I'm thinking two dance stages. So uh, we'll see, but that'll be in an hour. I'll have a think while it is producing. It's one hour later. We are ready to collect. And two, one, go. There we go. So we now have our first coconuts. We can buy one expansion. As I mentioned, I will buy one expansion here. Um, now, I do have a plan. Uh, my original plan was this to get to more dance stages, another hut. Uh, but instead I'm gonna do, well, the same layout, but instead of getting two dance stages, I will get two palm buildings, two palm 
gardens, or one more palm garden, so three in total. Uh, that means that, well, first of all, I'm going to put these on five hours. I'm going to put both of these on in five hours. Uh, they will be ready for me in the morning. And then, uh, with one more building uh, in the morning, I should have enough uh, shells uh, to, to put all of them on 10 hours uh, during the day. So right now, I have just below 4,000. Uh, I will get another 1,000 here from, uh, from these two. And then from the buildings here, I think it's something like 900 something, and then plus 400 here. So I'm just over uh, 6,000, which I need to put on three of these for 10 hour productions. So that is what I will do. I do have one impediment removal. I don't need it yet, so I think I'm going to wait uh, a little bit before I make any decisions uh, regarding that. So let's move things a little bit around to where they are supposed to be. So I think I can do something along the lines of... So this building is supposed to be here. Uh, yep, yeah, it's supposed to be there. Then we have two down stages over there. We have one palm building here. Then we have four huts in the center here. Then we have two more at the top here. Like that. So I'm going to get one palm garden here. And I do also have enough room for one more small hut up there. So there we go. So in the morning, I will be able to put on all of these three on 10 hour productions. And then tomorrow afternoon, when they are ready, um, I will be able to um, to collect all three. And at that point, um, I will have enough coconuts to unlock the pile dwelling. So I will probably do that, uh, rearrange a little bit. And at that point, I might go down to two goods buildings for a bit to produce more, uh, more shells. Um, I'll, I'll see. I'll have to figure that out tomorrow, but yeah, for now, uh, I'm done with, well, I suppose we are still on day one, and then in this, this same video, in a couple of moments, you will see me starting day two, and then over the course of the next couple of minutes, uh, completing day two as well. So, uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning. We are ready to collect, so let's do so. Any boost? No, no boost this time. So, yeah, we now have over 6,000. So I'm able to put all of these on 10 hour productions. And I will also do the same here. Uh, I'm not planning to really be on the next 10 hours. Uh, so, so, yeah, I'm not able to do shorter. So this means that in 10 hours, well, I'll definitely not be able I think to uh, run all of these three so I'll probably delete one and get some more done stages or well actually as I said uh, by then I should be able to unlock this so I'll do so and figure out what to do uh, we we're able to get one of these necklines to pile dwellings so yeah need to wait for this all right I guess that's it I will see you again in 10 hours all right, here we go. It's 10 hours later or a few <laughs> few minutes over. Wasn't able to collect in time, but let's collect now. Let's see if we can get the first four exponents. We do. Oh, that's actually really nice. Uh, that speeds up my plans a little bit. What I was planning uh, was to unlock the pile dwelling uh, and then in another four hours, unlock one more expansion. Uh, but now I'll be able to do that at the same time. Now, the reason I want some expansions, uh, let me just collect all of this, and then I will put back two of these palm gardens uh, on five hours. Uh, I will, I'm at home now, so I can do one hour on those. So what I will do is that I will delete uh, one palm garden. I'll also delete two of these houses. And if I've done my mathing correctly, I should have exactly enough uh, tiles, free tiles now, to get enough uh, happiness to unlock the next uh, building. Uh, now, uh, the reason I want to get some more expansions 
uh, is because the shape here is really awkward for 3x3 three three buildings. Uh, the shape is currently uh, it's currently two uh, by three, so eight tiles tall, uh, which doesn't really help when most buildings are three tall. Uh, these are the down stages are three tall. The goods buildings I have are three tall. Uh, this building that I'm about to unlock is three tall. So, uh, and ideally, I don't really want to have uh, as many uh, small huts anymore. So all the buildings I want to build are three tiles tall, which means, well, the shape is quite awkward. So my next target is to unlock these three expansions here. And although I could wait, I'm not going to, because it's going to take quite a long time until I get the next goods here. Uh, so I will buy uh, one expansion here now for 15, uh, I always forget what it is, coconuts, for 15 coconuts. And then I'll probably do the same with the next good, uh, buy the five and 15 one. Uh, we'll see. So I will get one expansion, but first let's unlock that. Uh, let me see here, I have two pile dwellings. I will do that. Uh, so let's quickly delete all of these. Here we go. Uh, here we go, here we go. And there we go. So now my initial plan now was to get uh, these two here. And I would leave it at that and then later on get an expansion. But with the extra goods I got now, I am able to get one expansion. Now I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not quite sure where to get it. This would make most sense. Uh, but out of these impediments here, this is the one I can live, uh, I can keep that around. It's not that big of an inconvenience. So I am tempted to get one of these, this one for example, and remove the impediment. I have a completely free or clear tile and I can use that. Um, so I don't know, I think I will just build these two regardless. They will be done in one hour. I uh, have some more forge points, that's nice. Okay, so here we have one more impediment removal. Um, not really going to get that uh, too soon because here what I think I'll do is that I will save up resources until I'm able to unlock the Kava farm and then unlock both of these at the same time. Uh, because these don't really serve any purpose beyond that. Uh, they do also have a 30 minute uh, uh, construction time, which is interesting. Uh, but uh, I will probably need some of this, I imagine, to unlock the Kava farm, um, but we'll see. So, what should I do? Um, I do have one hour, I suppose, to decide exactly what I want to do. So. I might actually just take a stop recording and think. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll let these construct, and then in one hour, uh, I will have my decision. I will probably delete some small huts and replace them with some more dance stages. Uh, because I am quite low now on shells, uh, I'll be able to produce some, uh, but uh, not really enough. Because I do also eventually want a third goods building as well. But uh, uh, for now, uh, I'll make the decision in one hour, so I'll be back. Actually, I guess I lied. Uh, I have already made a decision. Uh, so what I'll do is that I will get this expansion here. There we go. I will remove this. So what I'll do uh, in one hour when these are done constructing, I will place three dance stages. I'll place one here, one here, and one over here. So I'll remove this building. Uh, and then, eventually, when uh, when I want to, uh, I'll be able to replace two of these dance stages here with a goods building, or possibly one with a goods building. I'll see if I'm able to do that. Um, actually, no. Yeah, I'll be able to replace this dance stage with one uh, fissure eventually. So that's what I'll do. And the reason why I'm unlocking now is that I just temporarily can get one more small hut, uh, which will give me enough population to get one of these already, like that. Uh, so then uh, this one will be done roughly at the same time as these. Uh, and then when these are done, I'll uh, delete uh, these two uh, small huts here and get two more dance stages. So that's my plan. I will see you in an hour. All right, it's one hour later. I just recorded my quantum incursion video. If you have, haven't seen that yet, you'll find it, I suppose, linked in the description if I remember to uh, put it there. Anyways, these are now done constructing. Uh, they have a 10 hour production time. 
uh, but they do provide uh, quite a bit more than the small hut. Uh, but the uh, main thing is more uh, attack or more um, uh, more population. There we go. So I'm now able to replace two of these with two more dance stages like that. Um, I can actually place one more if I'm able to delete one more small hut and place one. I don't think I'll be able to. So I think I'll just keep it like this. <laughs> I guess I can play around, but yeah, I think I'll keep it like this. Uh, let me put these now on one hour production. These will also be available in one hour. And then I should start producing some more shells. Alrighty, it's a couple of hours later. These are now ready. Uh, and looking at the amount of uh, shells I have um, and the fact that I'm collecting a decent amount now, uh, I think I have enough to build one more good building right now. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to be up for another five hours today, so I'll put them on 10 hours, both of these. Uh, and then these I will just put on one hour. I will be up for another hour or two, perhaps three. Uh, so what I'll do is that I will actually continue uh, producing these for, let's say, another two hours probably before I go to bed. So in one hour, when this next batch is ready, uh, I will replace one of these uh, with a fissure. And then in two hours from now, uh, I will uh, start this fissure on a five hour production and they will roughly sync up in the morning. Um, so that's my plan. And then... Yeah, for tomorrow, I will continue producing stuff. Um, I don't know, I might be able, no, I don't think I'll be able to unlock the cover tomorrow. Perhaps, I guess, we'll see. Anyways, I'll be back a little bit later. Alrighty, it's an hour later, so let's collect once more. I'll put them back on one hour, except for one which I'll delete and replace with a fissure. All right, I'll be back in an hour to start this and end day number two. All righty, these are almost ready, a minute or so, which gives me a little bit of time to talk about my plans, I suppose, for tomorrow. Uh, so this is the final collection of the day. I will be putting this on a five hour production uh, same as I will do with the dance stages. That means that tomorrow morning, uh, when I wake up, I'll be able to put those on uh, for uh, probably a 10 hour production. And then what I'll do uh, when these are done, a couple of hours later, uh, I will be putting them on a five hour production. Uh, and then when I get home tomorrow after work, uh, hopefully the palm gardens and this fissure and all the other buildings will be synced up and everything should be hopefully, um, I don't know, <laughs> in order. Uh, so yeah, that's my plan. Um, so 20 more seconds. Uh, now in terms of the goods I'm missing, uh, I am missing around 60 fish and around 70, a bit over 70 coconuts. Uh, so I don't know, at some point, I uh, probably will replace one of the palm gardens with another fisher, um, or possibly depending on how much, uh, how many resources I have, uh, perhaps I will replace another one of the dance stages or two. I also have to see how many I need to, uh, and do those uh, for another fisher. Um, I'll see. It will also depend a little bit on if I get another four X boost. That would definitely help if I get it on either one of these. That'll be 50 total goods. Uh, in that case, I'm definitely getting quite close to the cover farm. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, getting the cover farm is my next main target. Uh, I will not unlock anything before I get here. And then after that, I suppose, uh, let's see, this is, uh, hmm, this is a, uh, what do you may call it? A shell producing building so perhaps I'll unlock this or perhaps I'll just wait until I unlock the next goods building as well and um, I guess we'll see in terms of goods um, I need quite a lot of fish after this so that's another reason why I probably should replace the coconut uh, a lot of fish 
uh, not a lot of coconut and hardly any uh, kava. So I guess I'll probably build one of these and uh, get uh, two more expansions probably, these two here. Uh, I would do or I will have one more impediment removal. I can use it here and I'll probably keep this in. Anyways, I think that is all I need to say now. My plans might change. Uh, it's all up to how things go tomorrow and the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, I will end day two uh, and I suppose end of day one as well in this video here. It's been quite a successful day, I think. Uh, moving along quite nicely and hopefully we will end the town in, well, as quickly as possible. Uh, so yeah, don't really have much more to say other than thanks for watching. And finally, let me thank my Patreons for their support. I'd like to thank Comstar, Kim Kelly, Rolf the 8, Dan Tumanadik, Mark Matter, Dark Matter, sorry, Mylia, Zero K, THX, Buzzlet, Hugo Kant, Von Kant, Tracy Generous, Tristan Weiss, Rocco, Spike for No Remorse, Atomic, Flavis, Avenger, Ockler, Whiskermeister, Mar and Sir, Hoss, Tussiot, Hanak, Dark Labber, Adarel, Mike, Hopper the Obsessed, Ruth, Karen, Dennis, Flavis Belisarius, Potter, Mizak27, Mike So, Michael, Early Morning, Kamara the Hawk, and Davis O'Malley. Thanks a lot for your thanks a lot for your support. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the future. I'm quite tired. It's been a long day. I've spent a lot of it working on the quantum incursions video, so <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, bye bye. I'll see you tomorrow.